Welcome back for another DaVinci tutorial. Recently I have read that some of you wanted me to make a music video effects and I did it. So if you want to see something else in DaVinci Resolve, make sure to leave a comment and I might make a video of it. Hmm. Let's get started. Okay, for the first one, which is called double exposure, we are gonna start with some easy effects, having two videos on the timeline, which are kind of similar, and we want to create some trippy overlay. So we're getting the second one and we're leaving it over the first one. While still highlighted, go to the inspector and we want to change the composite mode from normal to screen. And right now, as you can see, we have nice trippy overlay over the first video. And if you're gaining too much light, you can go to opacity on the same section in Composive and reduce it by half or something. And a useful tip if you want to use this effect is that it fits best if you're using a dark footage. Okay, for the second effect, I'm having this music video on my timeline and we want to make four copies of it. Hold Alt and drag the video. So you can make another copies on video number 2, 3 and 4. Then go on the timeline and leave a marker on it. We are gonna use this marker so we know when the effect is gonna happen. Then go 2 frames to the left. And then use the razor cut or using the command Ctrl plus B to make a cut over video number 5. And then move 2 frames more to the left. And do a razor cut over the video number 4. And you do the same for the number 2 and 3. You move two frames to the left and you do a cut, then delete all the left parts of it. Then go to the marker and go to two frames to the right this time and we're gonna do the same. We're gonna move two frames to the right this time and make a cut uh, starting from the top until video number two. And then I'm gonna delete again all the parts on the right side and we're gonna have a structure of a cake or a pyramid or whatever you wanna call it. It is looking something like this. I hope you're following. So just to recap, the top layer is having a four frames, the layer beneath that is having eight frames, the other one is having 12, and the video on track number two is having 16. Now I can delete the marker because I'm not gonna need it anymore. And then go over all of these layers and I'm gonna disable all the visuals for video number three, four and five, just so I can have a clear look on video number two. I'm going then to the inspector while this is still highlighted and I'm decreasing the zoom values to around 0.80. Then on video number 3 I will allow to display the track, then highlight it, go again in the inspector and this time decrease even more than the first one and I'm doing the same for video number 4. I'm making it visible and I'm even shrinking it more and the same as the last one I'm doing it with even lower values of zoom. After correcting the zoom values of everything, you should have something like this, a trippy fade out that is nice if you can synchronize it with your audio. And we can still improve this because as you can see right now we're having some jarring cuts over the frames, borders or whatever you want to call it. So I'm grabbing the videos from slot number 2, 3, 4 and 5, going on the inspector and beneath the corping menu there is a softness. And to solve the edges, simply just drag it to a negative values of your liking. And now let's preview the effect. And now moving on with the next one. Now for this flicker effect, we're not gonna use the one in the effects library. We're gonna make our own, which will have a nice one frame delay in between them. So select your clip and make a razor cuts, leaving uh, one frame in between them. And like I said previously, you can use Ctrl V to make a cut, right arrow of the key to skip one frame forward, or use the razor cut. And now when you have everything, you need to delete every second frame that you have just cut it, just like you see me doing right now. And at the end, as you can see now from the preview, you will have some nice flicker effect with a little bit of delay because the frames are missing, which is very effective if you synchronize it with the audio. Okay, for this effect, I'm gonna use this skateboard clip. Also, you can use a music video clip as long as it has some action in it, dance move or etc. Select the part of the timeline which you want to affect to begin, then highlight it, make a razor cut or press Ctrl B as I said, and move forward into the timeline until you want this effect to end. 
and make another cut, take the last part and leave it on the right side. Then highlight this middle part, hold out and drag it to the right side to make two more copies. Then highlight the middle piece, right click and select change clip speed. After that you want to check the field where it says reverse speed. Now you can put back your last piece together with all of the others. Preview the clip and you will see that you have a reverse moment in the clip. If you want to make it even more dramatic, you can take back the last part, just take the second and the third part of it and make another copy. And now you're having a double reverse, just like you can see right now. And also it will be really awesome if you make it synchronized with the audio. That way it will pop up even more. So the last effect is also a flicker effect, but it's a mirrored, it has some extra on it. So we're gonna start out by the same thing that we started on the first one. And what I mean is that we're gonna make a cut, leaving a one frame in between until the moment that we want this effect to end, of course. Then deleting every second frame that we have right there. But this time we're gonna highlight everything that we're having right now, as you can see. And we want to move everything to video slot number two. Then we want to get a copy of that first part, leave it over video slot number one and extend it under the repeat parts and then highlight the video which is on video slot number one. Then go to the inspector and clip the flip icon which is right here. Now the gaps in between frames of video number two, you will have a mirrored display of video number one which is also effective and cool. And I recommend you watching this video right here, I'm showing some other cool effects in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.